Good evening, and, in a way, welcome. <laughs> the first thing I want to say is thank you for not judging me. I... I, like many of you, need or feel the need for money. <laughs> uh, so here I am. <laughs> it would help me if you could just imagine that I'm doing this well. We here, and we are in some ways here, all want the same thing. And I'm here to reassure you that, yes, this will eventually end. <laughs> I... It won't feel like it will. <laughs> I don't know who's won what. And it's not just because I don't care. <laughs> it's also because no one here trusts me. <laughs> and that sentence still applies if I remove the word here. This is the last time I'll be hosting these awards. Please. <laughs> Unless, for some reason, they ask me back. <laughs> In which case, this will be the second to last time I host these awards. <laughs> and I'm simply hashtag honoured. In, BAFTA, in BAFTA's 75th year... Um, or BAFTAG, let's give it its proper name. <laughs> In BAFTA's 75th year, the BBC's 100th, and my 23rd, thank you, <laughs> to say well done to all of you for the things you do, or simply take credit for doing. <laughs> um, that's a job. And regarding the things you don't do, also congratulations. Um, but perhaps not quite as many congratulations are as due to Sir David Attenborough, who is 96 today. Okay. Right. Let's get some perspective here. Okay, man's 96. BAFTA is celebrating 75 years at the heart of our industry, even though industries don't have hearts. In 1955, there were only six categories. There was barely enough time to get up from your seat and slap someone before the whole ceremony would be over. <laughs> but do not worry your overly filmed heads. I'm not going to use your faces as punchlines or punch bags. You've suffered enough. Uh, no one works harder than us, apart from people in other professions. <laughs> I'm putting in a couple of hours today. I'm shattered. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Who will I take it out on? <laughs> like many in this business we call show, I can't offer you love. What I can offer you is so much better. BAFTAs. <laughs> Later this evening, we will honour a comedy colossus, receive a touching tribute from East Anglia's Alan Partridge, and encounter our new Doctor Who. That's right. But before that, let's remind ourselves of which televisual treats slipped down most readily in the past 12 months. <laughs>